how did you spend your last two summers? I'm going to kick things over to Jake to walk through the second short answer prompt. Yeah, that's a really good point. And I will say with these short answer questions, like I am such a big fan of kind of writing long and then just like revising really hard. And maybe that's just me overall. Write it all out, right? Write out all of the thoughts that come to your mind again, and then come back and evaluate them for which ones are really important and which ones maybe are working together and which ones are showing different aspects of my personality or giving context to something in my resume or showing something about how I'm going to be good at this major. Where are these connections coming in? Where are these patterns coming in when we view your application as a whole? Because for starters, the first few things that come to mind for you aren't necessarily going to be the most interesting or meaningful things. Whenever we're talking about something like college applications, you're up against a bunch of different students who've watched the same cartoons as you, who've listened to the same music, right? Who've had a lot of the same experience as you. And so those first two or three, I graded like AP and IB essays. And so 90% of those essays just happen to get answered in a really similar way because you guys were all a product of the zeitgeist, right? So sometimes that first answer to isn't necessarily the most interesting thing or the meaningful thing you can write about. And second, it's really hard to evaluate, reflect on these experiences that you had over the summer, much less think about how they might balance out against one another or other aspects of your application, unless you get them down in black and white. So get them down, come back several times, add to your list. Don't worry, I get so many students who come to me and they're like, I'm so sorry, my essay is 200 words long and I know it's only supposed to be 50. I'm like, no, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanna see because now that means we get to go through and really evaluate it. And I know you were really reflecting and thinking deep. And I will say, no, like I counted them earlier, the four, the words happening in these four bullet points, that's about 50 words. So just to get like a visual, right? Of what you're looking at here and a bulleted list. Yeah, you're thinking about, you're thinking again, You a bulleted list is fine for brainstorming, but whenever you go to write it out, whenever we sift through these things, you wanna put it into a narrative form. You wanna think about, have you studied flash fiction at school? Think about this as your tiny little story that you're gonna tell about yourself. Maybe you'll think about how this story is gonna show growth or maybe how is it gonna show diversity? or tell some other story about you over these summers that you've had throughout high school. 